Well, 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 we meet again, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, Friday morning, August 17th. Funny old day yesterday. Cable went higher, cable went lower, cable went higher, cable went lower. Cable finished where it was, Urien went higher, Urien went lower, higher, lower, higher, lower, finished where it started. Basically a range day. Um, frustrating, because we had ourselves in some good positions, but nothing really, nothing really moved enough to take profit, and everything ends up one big fat scratch. But, this is fine, we move on. Let's take a look at these S&Ps. Um, now we're getting perilously close, 28.64, to the year's highs. NASDAQ, on the other hand, is having some trouble. Core short NASI still seems to be the way. The question with the S&Ps is, are we going to touch these highs? Is this going to be a double top? Are we going to get to the all-time highs, which are 28.74? I actually don't think so. There's too many, too many problems out there uh, for this to come good. And Walmart earnings are are not strong enough to move this uh, entire market to new highs. Walmart is a is a dinosaur these days. Um, so just because there was a Walmart bounce, I don't think I don't I can't consider this enough to move this thing to new highs. So we're not fading this yet, but we're skeptical of this, which brings us to the currency component of all of that. Cross yen just doesn't want to go higher. Although the charts all say it's probably going to go higher. Yesterday's high, 2650, 12650 in Euro yen. We got a pretty clean break through 35. But then we just plummeted um, this bar here all the way down to 94 just as we were leaving the office between 6 and 7 Swiss time and now we're just sitting here doing nothing and it really looks like nothing's going on but you can see this inverse head and shoulders that a lot of people are going to start to see prices through 50 technically should lead to prices up at 127 the figure and then prices up through 127 the figure this all happens if stocks turn higher if dollar turkey goes lower dollar turkey 682 now the low yesterday was 670 it's friday so i would say it's unlikely for this to happen my best guess is that dollar turkey is going to go higher today going into the news cycle for the weekend people are going to be mildly risk off but if i'm wrong or if the it's not a question of being right or wrong. If we're approaching 50 and we are in this big risk-off moment, throw your bias to the side of the road and trade these yen crosses. The story has to be there. If it is, then trade them. Aussie yen, same type of pattern. Even cleaner, 80.82. Cad yen, really nothing going on. I mean, uh, sterling yen, not as clean. Cad yen, there's a pennant here, a wedge here, but we've got Canadian CPI today, so you don't really want to fuck around with cad yen um, in the morning. Just looking at uh, final core CPI in Euro. I don't think that's going to change much, so no real news, financial releases until the CAD CPI today. We'll get to CAD in a second. Uh, so these cross yen, if the story is right, uh, 
if we're on this sort of risk on module, Turkey is calming down. If boons start turning lower, let's check out these boons. They've been a bit of a headache this week. 6310 is the number that we're all watching, which is here. This is mildly interesting, 6337 on a uh, very short-term basis. But even if you don't trade boons, this can give you signals and help you decipher whether it's truly risk-on or just just noise. Anyway, these are these cross yen are worth watching. Um, we're still core short Nazi, so this is this is the opposite of risk on. But we're still core short Nazi. This doesn't look that that strong. It looks like it's rolling over to us. Um, so let's see. Finally, let's look at this dollar CAD. Quite an interesting series of highs here. 131.73. All likelihood this breaks in uh, Europe or before the number. We create some fraudulent high. CPI comes in strong. Dollar CAD gets smacked. Uh, that's kind of, that would be the typical FX story here. Uh, but let's see. I mean, this is an interesting point here. 131.73. We're not screwing around in CAD these days. Uh, we will see where we are before the number and see if there's a trade set up out there. But this is the bull bear point for today, 131.73. Finally, uh, I'm loath to bring it up, but here we are again in dollar Swiss, 99.85. This level is important if for the only fact that we've been mentioning it now for a month. Got up to 83 on Monday or Tuesday, whenever that was. Maybe it was Wednesday. Um, hourly close above this is going to take us to this, one up below 68. And once we're through one, silly things can happen in, um, in Dollar Swiss. Keep in mind the rates, Dollar Swiss world world where I live, minus 75. I like them apples. Mortgages here, 1%. God bless. Anyway, I'll leave you all with that and wish you a good, profitable Friday trading and, an, and a wonderful weekend. I'll chuck some tweets up if I'm bored today. Uh, but we know our focus points, risk on, it's cross yen. We've got this dollar Swiss chart and these dollar CAD charts, which are technically interesting, but we need stories to match. Good luck and goodbye.